And today, of course, Veterans Day, and Arizona Congressman and Iraq War vet Ruben Gallego is opening up now about his experience in combat and beyond. The congressman has a new book out. It's called They Called Us Lucky, The Life and Afterlife of the Iraq War's Hardest Hit Unit. And here now is Congressman Gallego. Sir, thank you for being here. Happy Veterans Day to you. And tell me and, and remind folks why your unit was called the Lucky Unit. <laughs> Well, what happened for a couple months is that uh, my unit, Lima 325, saw active combat for almost two months straight uh, and did not suffer one casualty, so no KIAs, no injuries. Uh, and so the press and other uh, units, other Marine Corps units, just started dubbing us Lucky Lima. Unfortunately, that ended up being a very ironic name um, because after that we started taking massive amounts of casualties and we lost a lot of Marines, my best friend, uh, and so it ended up becoming more of a, you know, uh, a misnomer more than anything else. And you say so many of uh, the, the, the folks you served with, uh, you all still kind of get together and, and tell stories and you have over the years, and you were afraid some of those stories might start getting lost. Is that really one of the reasons, main reasons you wanted to put the book together? Yeah, I mean, I actually didn't want to write this book. Um, it's too painful. It, you know, it was painful writing this book. I have a great co-author, uh, Jim DeFelice, who really helped me out um, and uh, you know he, he also co-wrote uh, American Sniper but honestly it was difficult to write this um, you know it exposed a lot of things that I had suppressed uh, feelings uh, even memories uh, but we in uh, you know our company we felt that we were starting to get forgotten you know and a lot of us had started to die two of the men that I feature in the book just died in the last couple months uh, and I felt you know I have a certain amount of privilege being a, a member of Congress that I needed to step up and, you know, with privilege comes responsibility. Uh, and so I, I, I put the book together, but it was difficult. Uh, it's even, it's, you know, even all these interviews are, are emotionally difficult because, it, again, it, it's triggering a lot of nerves that I, I haven't touched in a while. You know, to that point, it's Veterans Day. There are going to be beautiful ceremonies. We talk about vets, uh, a lot of news coverage today. Uh, you're sitting here, a veteran, also uh, now an author and a member of Congress, but remind us and take us back. You talk about how painful this is sometimes to talk about, but when you came back, what were your struggles and challenges getting back to life and civilian life and society uh, over the past uh, number of years? Well, in the book, The Call Us Lucky, you know, it, it varies. Um, you know, we talk about some people that came back and just did not adjust very well. Our main character, my good friend, Sergeant McKenzie, uh, ends up homeless for a little while and then turns his life around mm -hmm. Uh, and you know is now trying to get his PhD in history. I end up coming back and being and become very successful at business, but eventually at business and at business and politics. But eventually, PTC starts taking me down a very dark, dark hole. Um, you know, I started shutting myself away from people. I started chasing uh, you know artificial accomplish accomplishments just so I could feel like I'm doing something. Uh, you know, I really didn't open up to anybody about this. I, I was, was quick to get angry. Uh, all these things that just were very clear signs of PTSD that I was just ignoring because I couldn't have PTSD. If I was so successful at everything I'm doing, then how could I, how could I be having this, this problem? And I was a warrior. Uh, you know, I wasn't weak. Why would I have it? When in fact, you can be a warrior. You can see a lot of combat. You could be a strong man, a strong woman, and still have PTSD. Well, Congressman, we thank you for the stories. I think you're, you're probably right. You don't want some of these stories to get lost and in conversations they get passed down well now it can be put uh... to paper here for people to read the book is called they called us lucky the life and afterlife of the iraq war's hardest hit unit congressman gallego will will have you back to talk maybe some politics and i wanted to hit on some of that but um, you know it, uh, i'm glad we just hit on your story and your unit story so uh... thank you for taking some time with us thank you happy veterans day and happy marine corps birthday uh, at least belated to all my fellow marines you got it man. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.